So if you just got the wheel chocks out, I'm chucking them in the tunnel boot. Then we're heading out. Before we get out of here, we're gonna fill up. And then we're gonna hit the York Peninsula. Can't wait. See you there. Alrighty, as I said, we're just filling up our tanks on the snowy before we head to the York Peninsula. And we're using our best water filter, of course. That's our filter. Going straight into the tanks. Discount store-wide 10% and use the code Wilson's at checkout. Good morning. morning. Welcome back to another episode. Yeah. If you're just joining us, you're joining us at the perfect time. Yeah, we're hitting up the York Peninsula. Yeah, cannot bloody wait. We've not done this one before. So yeah, it's gonna yeah. be good. Can't wait. We'll see what we get up to and yeah. Hopefully some fishing. Hopefully. We some are squid. Yeah, we're still yeah. on the squid hunt, so Fingers crossed, Aaron catches a squid, or I say we catch a squid, it'll be Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> you never know, you might have a go as well. Yeah, I might we'll have see. a go. I'm keen to read my book. Anyway, we'll show the How York. Boring. <laughs> we'll show the York <laughs> and what we get up to. We're leaving Greenock today. Yep, we just left now. And yeah, heading to the York. See you when we get there. See ya. We're just outside of, I think it's Dublin. One really cool thing about South Australia is these. So all around South Australia, I've noticed that all of the telegraph poles are made out of concrete and metal. So I'm assuming if there's a bushfire, the telegraph lines don't go up as well. So yeah, it's really, really cool. Um, what a great design. Just thought I would show you guys those because they interest me. Where are we, Soph? Adrossen. Check out the view. Come back here then. I'm the view. Oh no, behind you. <laughs> <laughs> we just found this track. Um, it's a lookout just over the cliff edges. So we're on the York Peninsula now. So we thought we'd go have a walk and see what it looks like. How do we always pick the hottest days to go on walks? It's 35 degrees right now. And it was 37, so it's cooling down. <laughs> but it's 4.30 in the afternoon. So you think it would be a lot cooler now, but South Australia doesn't work like that. We went down the road to a Dross and Lookout. Um, it's on top of an old mine site and basically it's now a public lookout. So you can come up here, drive right up so you don't even have to walk in the heat, which is great. And you can see all the coastline. And then on this side you can see a mine, which is pretty cool. As you can see, Ginger's off her lead and she's loving it. This is a off-leash beach or foreshore, I think they call it. Parara Camp, I think. Don't hold me on it. But yeah, it's beautiful. She loves it, gets to run around. All the camps on the bush camping are dog friendly and off-leash, except for the national parks at Innes National Park, but the bush camping doesn't cover it. Not sure if you could see that, but that's a, some sort of jellyfish. Pretty cool. One thing that is crazy to me is how fast these tides change. That it was low tide probably 20 minutes ago and now it's nearly high tide, so. 
It was probably 500 meters out or so, 800 meters I reckon. This ginger's quite tired after that. She's had a huge day. She has in the heat. Yeah, it's been really hot. So we're going to head back to the van now and organize some dinner. Would yeah. you believe it? It's 20 to 6. <laughs> the sun's still beaming. Just thought I'd show you our camp and where we're camped at today. What a view on the York Peninsula. Beautiful view. Look at that. I'll put some drone footage in here as well. Good morning. Um, I thought I'd show you our camp. You can see Sophie in there. I should have done this yesterday, but I forgot, so we're doing it now. It's a pretty specky camp. Check out the sunrise. A bit bright, but beautiful. Just went for a squid, and we'll pop that in too. Thought I'd show you a scooter I caught. I'm just out at Adros and Jetty. A couple casts. And I caught this one. Beautiful. It's pack up day. We are leaving Parara, I think it's called, camp. And yeah, it was really, really nice. I had a few people say that this place wasn't very nice, which is strange because, yeah, if this isn't very nice, looking forward to see what is nice. Um, we had a great time here, but we are heading on because we only have a week on the peninsula um, and we want to make sure that we make the most of the week. So leaving camp today um, and heading down south. So let's see what we get up to. I'm sitting in the car because I just backed on the trailer or the van and it's 31 degrees. So already hot, flies are thick and yeah, it looks like it's going to be another beaut day. This is the memorial for the, I think it's the seven whales that got beached and sadly passed away. Sophie driving the rig. We're just heading into town this morning. We got the van hooked up. We're just going to the shop to get some Zyrtec or something because Sophie's got a rash on her leg. Then we're going to hit up our next camp. Not sure what one, but once we find it, we'll let you know. So I sent Aaron in to get me some Telfast for my itchy skin after that rash. Note to self, don't brush up against plants in the bush. Guys, <laughs> look what he's come back with. <laughs> I hope you got Telfast. I went for some Telfast, but I found a crap. Oh my rape, gosh. So Aaron. <laughs> had to buy it. Sorry, budget. How much was that? 20 bucks. Huh? Just for the rake. <laughs> oh my gosh. Far out. Oh well, hopefully he catches a crab. I've, I've got faith in him now, though, after the squid. So we'll see where we can put this rake. Hello guys, welcome to our new camp. So this one's a hidden gem. A lot of reviews on Wikicamp say that you can't fit caravans in, you need an off-road caravan or a small hybrid, or you need a camper trailer or a rooftop tent to get in here. Well, we've got our on-road van in here, or semi-off-road van, should I say, actually. Um, it's fine, it was just a dirt road, a few corrugations, uh, quite dusty, to be honest with you. but. Ours wasn't too bad. We had a little bit of dust around the door, but that was it. So here we are. So we've got the awning half out because it's blowing a gale at the moment. So basically we've got it half out, our easy anchor straps holding it down and our anti-flaps as well. So should be right. 
um, yeah, this is us for the next couple of days. Not too sure. We'll see if it's overnight or the next couple of days. Um, the flies are thick. Nobody warned us how thick the flies are on the York Peninsula. Could probably pick up Ginger and carry her away. So, anyways hot tip come into the york bring a fly net if you want some peace and quiet because yeah they're thick i don't think they were even this bad in Alice springs which is a little bit insane to us so this is us we've unhitched because there's a scenic drive that we want to check out um but if you look just over that hill you can actually see the beach and from inside you can see the beach over there too so yeah, really, really nice spot. Totally underrated. And we've got our floor mat out, our chairs. And yeah, Miss Ginger wants inside, but she's not going in because it's even hotter in there than out here. On the floor mat, we've got a discount code for Emro Designs. It's site wide and it gets you 10 percent off it's just wilson's really good quality mat we've had ours for probably nearly three years i think we said before so yeah check them out first nations own too which is an awesome brand to support we walk down here and around you can actually see the walking track down onto the sand so it's high tide at the moment they come in so quickly here that i dare say this afternoon it will probably be covering all those rocks so yeah really nice spot if you don't mind flies don't mind dust and don't mind the wind <laughs> you'll like it here i think it's called goldsmith 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 beach this is our lsp solar blanket you guys have seen it before um couldn't be off grid without it so huge shout out to lsp for providing the goods if you guys want to get your own, we again have a code for that. So yeah, that one's Wilson's 15 and you get 15% off rather than 10. They're getting thicker. Do you like the flies? <laughs> yes, that's a no. She said she beat and beat them. I think it's our cue to head out for the afternoon with these flies and cross our fingers that they calm down by this afternoon. And when the tide comes back in, we might go for a walk out um, to the water, see how deep it gets, because there's a sandy point past the rocks, so that's kind of where it drops off. Aaron might chuck out some fishing rod this afternoon. He might try his new rake out. Who knows what he's gonna get up to, so. I don't even know myself. Yeah, it's, it's way too hot at the moment, but we might do it later on this afternoon. Although it'll probably still be hot then. It's probably too hot to be free camping. Don't want to whinge this whole episode. But, yeah, need a Jenny. Next purchase, Aaron? Probably a generator. <laughs> Here we are, cooking up the squid that Aaron caught, um, which I am so proud of him for. So, yeah, really, really excited. We finally got a squid. We said we weren't leaving without one, and SA gave us one, so, yep. Praying to the squid gods worked. We cook it up tonight, and yeah, this is our first time doing it, so fingers crossed <laughs> we don't butcher it. <laughs> this is our setup, it's not the most level tri pan, but it'll do. As Sophie's doing that, she's got the egg and the breadcrumbs with what you put in it. Just a bit of um, just a bit of garlic and onion powder and salt. Beautiful. Got our oil. Hopefully it's enough. That's all the oil we had. Yeah, I'm gonna do a shot. <laughs> Yum. Mm -hmm. Can't get fresher. No. Got it freshly this morning from Adrosin Jetty. So probably the third or fourth cast I got it. That was the only thing I got. So I was stoked with it. Yeah, so at the jetty, I probably went, what, 20 meters on the jetty? Because down the end, there was probably 50 people and I was talking to one bloke who was just going for a walk. And he said everyone's just tangling their lines and it was a nightmare. So mm -hmm. that's why I didn't go up there. I thought, no, nah, I knew that had happened anyway. So I'll go down here where it's nice and quiet and provided the goods for me. Hopefully it's not the end of the squid catching life. We've got the um, rake. 
in New South Wales you can't rake crabs like illegal. So you would have seen I bought a crab rake as well so hopefully I can catch some crabs. So we'll give it a go. I don't know how I'll go. I don't know much about it but I've seen it at the grocery store actually for mm. 20 bucks or 19 bucks. So I thought beauty I'll take the last one they got. See how they go. They don't take long. Is that hot enough guys? Let us know. <laughs> yeah let us know what you reckon. We should get level as well. That'd be help. Yeah. They're sizzling. They're sizzling. So, if you know how to cook squid good, let me know, because I don't want to butcher these. Well, we, we won't, they won't be able to tell us now. <laughs> well. So that's a freshly cooked and caught squid from Dross and Jetty, and we are having that at Golden Smith Beach, I think it is. Goldsmith. Goldsmith Beach in the York Peninsula can't get better than this let's go eat it so good morning we're just packing up oh, i'm packing up the outside and sophie's inside the van packing inside Miss ginger helping me this morning she's looking for any rubbish to pick up got the awning away the floor mat pretty much nearly done go put the legs up put it onto the car and we should nearly be ready to go it's really windy here today as well it was last night, it picked up about 6.30, 7 o'clock and I reckon it's about 80, 90 k's. The van was shaking all night. So that's alright, that's the York Peninsula on the coast. That's what you do for these views. It's bloody stunning, even when it's windy. Hey Ginge. just put into Waruka, I think it's pronounced. It is a free water point behind the public toilet here. And yeah, it's a really good thing because a lot of water points on the York, you need to pay to fill up your water where this one's free. So it makes you want to support the town obviously more because they have this facility. So you may as well go into the general store and grab some items um, to support the town for providing the free water. So we're going to fill up both tanks because we did some laundry yesterday after going in the water. Everything got quite sandy. So yeah, we're almost empty. So we're going to fill up both of our tanks and yeah, then we're going to head on to Point Turton. You know what's not fun about these dusty roads? It's all worth it for this view. How specky is that? I thought it was about time I'd showed you camp. We had a lazy morning this morning, so haven't done much. We've just been inside the van pretty much all afternoon, working, editing videos and all that sort of stuff, trying to get out of this wind. We're at Lembarker Reserve, um, but I thought I'd show you our site. You can see our mat's blowing again right under all the air that's right it's the snowy still hooked up got the lsp solar blanket out there and then look at our view pretty nice so we're gonna go out tomorrow morning and do some exploring might go for a fish do some beach driving see how we go good morning today is tuesday we are heading out this morning it is still blowing a gale um but we want to get out and show you guys what's around this area so we thought we'd head out this morning go for a four drive on the beach apparently it's really nice so we're yet to check that out we'll go do that and but yeah today's also moving day so heading out bright and early it's about eight o'clock now um we've had breakfast we've had our coffees we've gotten ready cleaned up so when we get back all we're gonna have to do is hitch up the van and put the washing up away so yeah 
Should be out of here by lunchtime today, that's the plan anyway. And then we're heading to a place called Barker's Rocks in the afternoon. So yeah, we'll see what we get up to. But for now, let's see you on the beach. So today we are at one of Australia's best photo beaches. Can you guess where we are? Take a look at this. It's pretty nice. You guessed it, we're at Flattery's Beach. What do you reckon, Ginger? You like it, don't you? Sophie's just in the car because she's got a doctor's appointment. So pretty good place for a doctor's appointment, I reckon. Go on, Ginger. She's happy. She loves it. Look at her. Psycho dog. Everyone thinks she's so good. She's psycho. The video is getting a bit too long, so there's going to be a part two of the York. So to see what we get up to on the rest of the York Peninsula, tune into next week's video. So you know the drill. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that bell to get notifications. Thanks guys. Good morning. Today is, what is today? Tuesday, I think. <laughs> Ginger, you having fun? You having fun, Baba? Ginger, yuck, that's dog poo. Yuck. Ginger yuck. And remember folks, I think I'll be dog shit. <laughs> yeah. How's it going, Ginger? Ginger, you dying? Are you dying? <laughs>